Avatar The Way of Water. Summation. More than ten years after the occasions of the main film, the film starts with Jake Sully portraying his humble and quiet life as head of the Omatakaya group and raising a family with his significant other Neytiri, which incorporates his children Netayam and Loke and his little girl Tuke, his embraced little girl Kiri, brought into the world from Elegance Augustine's out cold Navi symbol, and a human kid named Spider, the child of Miles Quaritch who was brought into the world on Pandora yet couldn't be moved to Earth in Christasis. Please subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so that you'll be informed of our new uploads. While Jake can acknowledge Spider as a took on child, Neytiri is doubtful of him given his human beginnings. Be that as it may, every one of the youngsters blend and mingle well with one another including Spider, whom Kiri is tender with despite the fact that he is a human. Spider doesn't embrace his human legacy and feels more leaned to Navi culture and customs. They carry on with an ordinary existence until one day they notice a bizarre star in the night sky. Once more much regrettably, they understand it's a RDA space transport with people getting back to Pandora to colonize it, raising another vitally working base. Among the fresh debuts in the boat is Colonel Quaritch, who has been cloned into a Navi body and with his recollections transferred from before his passing. Thus, Quaritch can't recall his end on account of Jake however is simply ready to remember the occasions previously and his vindictive mission to take out Jake. To keep the RDA from taking advantage of Pandora once more, Jake drives an essential guerrilla activity against the RDA supply lines debilitating them. In one of the tasks, Loke who defies Netam and anxious to show off his abilities, attempts to help Jake in fight yet gets injured. Jake safeguards and trains him to not jeopardize his own security by being careless. That evening, while at the same time watching out for his injuries, Nitri serenely reminds Jake to be not excessively unforgiving with Loke, to which Jake communicates his anxiety as a dad for the security of his kids. In the meantime, the counter follow-up on the RDA supply lines doesn't agree with Quaritch who starts a hunt mission to kill Jake. During an energetic endeavor, Jake's kids alongside Spider investigate further into the rainforest. Unbeknownst to them, Quaritch and his group are at a similar area investigating the site where Quaritch will see his human remaining parts. A perceptive Loke sees their presence and rapidly illuminates his dad Jake who is made aware of the circumstance. Notwithstanding, a conflict happens and Quaritch's crew catches Jake's youngsters. Jake and Neytiri show up in time and free the vast majority of them, however Bug is taken by Quaritch, who remembers him as his child. On board the boat, the RDA attempts to coercively separate data about Jake from Insect who will not give. Evolving technique, Quaritch tends to Bug as his child and furthermore to make sense of more about the Navi in return for his opportunity on his side. Despite the fact that unagreeable and ignorant about Quaritch's genuine mission, Insect shows Quaritch Navi culture. Quaritch is additionally effectively ready to tame an Ikron flying animal as his vehicle. Realizing the risk spider's information on his whereabouts stances to their security and furthermore to keep away from another calamity, Jake persuades a hesitant Nitri and his family to oust themselves from the Omadakaya tribe and retreat toward the eastern seaboard of Mikaina a coral reef island whose faction and way of life is adjusted to Pandora's oceanic living space. Jake gives his central mantle to his replacement and passes on altogether to Makaina. Once showed up, they are welcomed by the faction boss Tanawari and his significant other Ronal who is far-fetched of them at first. In any case, Jake makes sense of their circumstance and they are consented to remain and given cover. Despite the fact that a few tribesmen criticize Jake and his youngsters for their hereditary human legacy, the family learns the methods of the reef individuals gaining the appreciation of them. Kiri is intrigued with the oceanic existence of Mikaina and fosters an otherworldly bond with the ocean and its animals, while Loke gets to note Sireya, the little girl of tribe boss Tanawari and his better half Ronal. While adjusting to their new climate, Loke gets into a battle with Sireya's sibling Aonun when he pokes a rough fun at Kiri and him of their blended human genealogy. Jake reprimands his child for his way of behaving. At Jake's demand, 
Lok gets back to apologize to Aonung and his companions. In any case, they tempt him to an outing into the region of a hazardous ocean hunter and leave him abandoned as a retribution. The ocean hunter attempts to go after Lok. Be that as it may, Lok is saved by and gets to know Paikin, a tulkun, a smart and pacifistic cetacean species whom the Mikaina think about their otherworldly family. Upon his revisitation of Mikaina, Boss Tanawari who became mindful of Aonung's activities on Lok, requests that the previous apologize to Lok, nonetheless, Lok assumes the fault on himself, winning Aonung's companionship. He is additionally informed that Payakan is an outsider among his species. In the meantime, out traveling to a branch off of the Tree of Spirits, Kiri joins with it to meet her mom, however experiences a fierce seizure. She is recuperated by Ronal, yet when Jake calls Norm Spellman and Max Patel for help, Quaritch can follow them to the archipelago where the reef individuals reside. Carrying Spider with him, he seized a whaling vessel which is hunting tulkuns to reap their cerebrum compounds for making hostile to maturing cures. Quaritch starts to mercilessly scrutinize the native clans about Jake's area, bombing that, he arranges the whaling group to wantonly kill the tulkuns to draw Jake out. Lok intellectually interfaces with Payakin and discovers that the Tulkun was projected out in light of the fact that he conflicted with the methods of his species and went after the whalers who killed his mom. At the point when the Mikaina learn of the Tulkun butchers, Lok takes off to caution Payakin, trailed by his kin, Sirea and Aonun. They find Payakin being pursued by the whalers, and Lok, Kiri and Tuk are caught by Quaritch. With their kids at serious risk, Jake, Natiri and the Mikaina set off to defy the people. Quaritch powers Jake to give up, yet seeing his spirit sibling jeopardized, Paikin assaults the whalers, setting off a battle which kills the vast majority of the team and fundamentally harms the vessel, making it sink. Netam salvages Lok and Bug, yet is lethally shot. Jake faces Quaritch, who involves Kiri as a prisoner. At the point when Natiri does likewise with Spider, Quaritch at first denies his child, however stops when Natiri cuts Spider on the chest. Jake, Quaritch, Natiri and Tuk end up caught inside the sinking vessel. Jake chokes Quaritch into obviousness and is protected by Lok and Payakin, and Kiri gathers ocean animals to help her save Natiri and Tuk. Insect finds and safeguards Quaritch, however passes on him because of his mercilessness towards the Navi and putting his objective to kill Jake's family over being his dad and turning into a decent man, driving him back to rejoin Jake's loved ones. After Netam's burial service, Jake and his family choose to forever remain with the Mikaina.